Well, I tell you what, it is way too wet out here <laughs> to be laying down. So kneeling is about all I'm gonna be doing today. I'm using the cannon, so hopefully I am in focus and it's picking up my eyes. I'm not using the Sony today just because, well, because I wanted to use this. And I'm using my, my other 17 to 40, I think it is, one of my favorite video lenses. It's an only an F4 but I still really like it, it's nice and versatile. So I'm gonna continue on this way, and really what I'm looking for today is maybe Phoebe's. <sighs> or bluebirds, like I was just shooting out there, and it's awesome. Weird weather, we've had gobs of rain, and right now it's sunny. So the birds are gonna be out looking for meals. So I'm gonna go this way. This little area in through here doesn't really seem like much. This is Sepulveda Basin, of course. And yes, I am hand-holding my 600 F4 on the R3. I have a 1.4 extender on there. It gives me 840 millimeters at an F5.6 at the very lowest. And uh, shooting auto ISO, I am watching my shutter speed. I want to still keep it high. I'm not so worried about the ISO, but I would prefer to keep it low. That's just the way I like to shoot. You're gonna have your own style and your own your own way of doing things, and that's perfectly okay, man. But what I like about this little spot here is you have all these pillars and posts as they come in through here. And the cool thing about this is the birds, the birds perch on this. So I think I've only got one, and it was from a distance, but I'll show you a couple from the last time I was here. I, I love that look. And then you have all these purple flowers that are out in the field. There's hummingbirds out there too. So right now I'm gonna see if I can't go get some out there. And that would be pretty cool. I really wanted to go to Han, but since it is Easter Sunday, I figured that uh, it was gonna be way too crowded out there. Yeah, I'm watching myself in the monitor. So I know where I'm standing. <laughs> and there's butterflies out there. Oh. And if you've seen any of my prior videos, you know that butterflies, dragonflies, the little ones and the hummingbirds are my absolute favorites. With a long lens, when you can fill your entire sensor, oh, man, absolute perfection. All these little critters are just so simply amazing. All right, I... Well, I'm gonna wander this way and I'll share with you in a second. Check this out, I'm gonna wander and you're gonna see it.
Hey man, I'm opportunistic. I will shoot. Yes, I came out and I was, I've been wanting bluebirds for a while now. So that's why I'm out here. I think it's actually the perfect time, but there's lots of birds out here. So to shoot Woody Woodpecker was worth it. And of course, then there was a squirrel over there too that I caught while I was walking. Not quite as wet here. I'm not walking through puddles, but there is a bluebird right there. Sun is off to the left. Time to get down low and see if I can get it without getting wet. I missed it, but that, that's quite all right. You know, I'm, there's lots of uh, birds out here. I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna be patient and I'm going to wait. I will find something. I see the birds per, uh, perching on the posts over there. There's some beautiful flowers, beautiful background. Again, I know I've said it many times, and many wildlife photographers say the same things. I'm watching for birds out there, so if I'm not looking at you, I'm sorry, I'm not ignoring you. Watch your backgrounds. I am not a fan of shooting directly with sky behind it. I will do that if that's my only shot, but I prefer to have something behind it, some sort of colors, uh, anything for texture. I'm a fan of busy backgrounds, whereas other photographers are not. Like when, when I was in, in Washington, this owl right here is my favorite, my favorite owl photo of the entire trip, just because I love the way the eyes are sitting there in the bushes. I, to me, that's exciting, and that's what I like to see. I like busy. I like realistic. I don't like cleaning out branches. That's just, that's too much. You know, I want to say that just because you have the best gear in the world does not mean you get the best shots. Hello, little girl. I get a lot of shots that look like this, but I shoot a lot of shots. And as I'm going through, I pick out the best of the best. I've said it so many times in other videos too, not every lens or camera setup is perfect for all situations. If I was out here specifically for the butterflies that I'm watching in the field over here, or dragonflies, I would not be using this. The lens I would reach for would be the, the 100 to 500. I like that short minimum focus distance. I think it is absolutely perfect for that. This one is good. It's better at a distance when I can really step back a little bit. I think every lens struggles just a bit at their minimum focus distance. This one is no exception, and that's why some of these photos look just like this. Hello, little butterfly. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. I'm out. I'm having fun. Yes, this is ripping off my neck because it is so heavy. I have no tripod with me for this. So everything you're seeing is handheld. Is it perfect? Gosh, no. <laughs> Am I having an absolute blast? Oh, yeah, you betcha, man. I'm a little warm. And I think that I am going to wander elsewhere. Maybe down that way. I did get some of the hummingbirds. I'm up. <laughs> There's lots of people walking this way. One guy's carrying a big hammock. So I think that they're going someplace out there. Oh, blue heron in flight. completely missed it. As I said, man, nothing, absolutely nothing is perfect and it is what it is. It's absolutely okay. Um, I do have, I, my, my plan is I want to compare the 600 f4 to the 200-800. I'm going to shoot them both. I'll put them, the big difference, there's going to be a lot of differences, but I want to, I want to compare the two. I want to do it at Han on a sunny day when it's not going to be an Easter weekend. There's a hummingbird sitting over here. The reason I came to this spot right here is because I know that, or I knew 
or I do know, I know, that I was going to get a hummingbird, and there's a, there was a hummingbird sitting over there, along with what I think it's one of the spotted towhees with the red eyes. So cool. So that'll be a video uh, coming up if you want to watch for that one. I think that one's going to be interesting. I did do a video comparison, or I should say a lens comparison, between the 100 to 500 with the 1.4 extender, which put me at 700 millimeters at an f10. And I was using the 200 to 800, which is 800 at f9. That one, I'll leave a link over here if you want to check that out, if you're interested in it. I'm going to see if I can't get a couple more on my way back to the car. Johnny Pink, man, thank you so much for letting me share with you guys. Thank you, thank you. I cannot appreciate, I cannot tell you how much I truly appreciate it. I get to share my stuff with you. And I also get to meet people out here, which is also the highlight of what I do. Is every shot perfect? Absolutely not. But do I have an immense amount of fun? Oh boy, I sure do. Absolutely, I do. So, Johnny Pink, thank you so much. You guys have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're going to do. And since I have a static camera here, I can fade out. You know what I have not done yet? I have not gotten my photo for my thumbnail. How about this? You like that? What, what about this one? No, no, no. I think this one is better. <laughs> Whatever it is. One of the comments when I first got this lens and I posted it on an Instagram, so much for hand-holding. No, I hand-hold all the time. I prefer to hand-hold because you have so much more freedom. Yeah, my video suffers a little bit because I start to shake. This thing is not light. It's like carrying a child. Mine are all grown. I haven't grown up yet though. So again, I'm gonna wander around this way.